Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a long layered lived in haircut, so stay tuned. so excited to do this haircut because this is a haircut that I would do on my clients all the time and so I'm excited that I finally have a model who is ready for this haircut it's a long lived in layered haircut and it's gonna be really easy like I said this is something that I used pretty much daily when I was working in the salon so I think that it's gonna be really helpful for you oh and real quick before we get started one little disclaimer as you guys know if you've watched any of my other haircutting videos I am not a technical hair cutter so I might use terms that sound a little bit different or they might not be 100% right, but just know that these cutting techniques that I've used in my videos are things that have worked for me and my clients for years and I hope that you're able to glean something out of them even if I use maybe some of the wrong terms. So just wanted to share that little disclaimer for you and let's get started. All right, so this is our before. You guys can see she doesn't have any layers or anything going on. It's been about three years since she's had a legitimate haircut. It's been just growing out from shoulder length. So I'm excited to give her some layers, add in some movement, and shape it up around her face just to kind of frame her beautiful face and give her something fun to look forward to. All right, so what we did was we went through and sectioned out her hair based off of her part, and then I just sectioned everything in front of the ear forward, and I'm not even clipping it out, I'm just kind of letting it hang out in front of her shoulders. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna section kind of right at the top of her head all the way down to the middle back. And so one thing that I like to do when I'm doing cutting and I wanna section things is I actually take my comb and I draw a line connecting to my finger. So I'm going to kind of find where her middle of her head is, and this is just something that kind of starts to naturally happen. Um, but if you ever need to look, you can, and you just draw a line. And the cool thing is, once you do that, you're able to easily separate out the two sections. So now that we have it split in half, I'm going to find kind of where her uh, little occipital bone is, and we're gonna draw a line just diagonal back down. And this is gonna be our very first section. On this side, I'll go find where I want my finger to be or where I want the parting to end and just connect the dots. This makes sectioning a lot easier and makes it really clean. All right, so now we have our first section. It's just diagonal back all the way down to kind of right about here where her mastoid process bone is and uh, all the way down the middle. All right, so I'm gonna have my client tilt their head down and we're gonna be taking off about, let's see here, just a little over an inch. Um, she hasn't had a good, strong haircut in a couple years. She's had trims, but nothing like really good. So I'm gonna take off just a little over an inch, about an inch and a half. So I'm gonna be cutting just straight across here. And one thing that I like to do is, it's gonna be kind of hard to see here in camera, but I do like to just kind of comb it down and then double check, kind of get down to the eye level of where the length is sitting. Um, this could also be a time where you have your client actually stand up so you're able to see everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my next section and I'm just going to kind of section out about an inch and a half, another section. We'll do about three sections here, same thing, back my back, following the same sections as before. All right, so now we finished her length down here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn her. And if I was working at a station where I didn't have to move my client, I would just stand to the side, but for you, we're filming on a video, I am gonna just turn her. And what we're gonna do is I'm going to just bring this section in, I'm gonna have her look straight for me, and we're gonna connect this kind of side section. She doesn't have a ton of hair here. If she did, you could take uh, subsections, but she doesn't have a crazy ton amount of hair, so I'm not too worried about it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that I am square to her body. I'm gonna comb it all the way straight down, and I'm gonna find where my length is sitting, kind of right here, you guys can see that's my guide, and we're just gonna go cut straight all the way across. nice solid line there and we'll do the same thing on the other side.
All right, so now that we've cut her perimeter, what we're gonna do is we're going to take the guide for her layers. So I'm actually gonna take it based off of her party and I'm going to section, just about a half inch section, taking both sides of where she normally parts her hair. And we're gonna take this as our guide section. So I'm gonna hold it directly above the head. And you guys can see she's got like no layers at all in her hair. It's very grown out and we're gonna add some layers in. So what I like to do, and sometimes for those of you guys figuring out like, well, where do I cut based on how do I want the layers to fall? You can take a little section here and you can kind of see like, okay, so this is gonna be our guide section, but where do we want the layers to kind of sit? So you can kind of visually start to see like, okay, I kind of want the layers to sit right about here. I want them to be like medium length. I don't want them to be super long, but I also don't want them to be super short. So if I take this, what you can do is you can create almost like a little guide piece you kind of measure where you want it to be, obviously allow for a little bit of release of tension and volume, and that's kind of about where I want it to be. So we can take this little piece and we can just kind of notch it out. Don't lose your piece. But now I've got that piece and that's kind of where I want the layers to sit. Now what I can do is I have a guide for when I hold the hair up and I can connect it with this guide section that I've created here. There's our little guide. And what I'm gonna do, make sure it doesn't fall out, <laughs> I'm going to just cut straight across. And I typically like to point cut my section there. I don't like to do just a straight across guide section. I like to kind of point cut into it. That's just my personal preference. But now we'll let that section go. We'll repart it out and you can kind of see where that's starting to lay. You can kind of see like, okay, cool. That's gonna get some really good layers in there. All right, so now that I've gotten my guide all the way down, we've reparted it out. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to just take sections right here. I am going to um, leave kind of this front area out, our little money piece area, but either way, if this wasn't a money piece, I would still leave it out. We're gonna leave that out here. But I'm going to take about inch wide partings and I'm going to comb it straight up from the head. So you guys can see coming here, I'm gonna comb it all the way up. And some of these hairs will fall out based off of her length. Comb it all the way straight up. I'm gonna find my guide. You guys can see it kind of hanging out right in there. And I'm actually going to cut outwards. So it's gonna be like a triangle. So here's her length. You guys can see that's right in there. So we're going to just kind of cut this out right here. You guys can kind of see guide I'm going a little shorter to longer. And I'm going to continue this all the way around the head. So we'll take our next section, hold it straight up. You guys will see some of that length might fall out depending on the length of your client's hair. Add a little bit of texture, short to long. All right, so now we're gonna go into our next section just like I did for the previous one. And you guys can see I'm pivoting around the head, just taking section by section, and we're holding it up directly. We're not over directing back to the prior section or anything like that. We're just literally holding it straight up above the head. Go all the way up, find my guide, kind of tilt my fingers. You guys can see that. And we're gonna connect this in. And then I like to go back in and kind of add a little bit of texture, but we will add more texture as we dry it out and do some texturizing techniques on dry hair. So I'm not too concerned about that there. I'm gonna double check that I got all the hair. Grab the whole section again. Make sure we got it. Just a little section right in there. And then once I've done that, I'm going to actually hold this out here. Hold it down. And I'm just gonna kind of clean up this little line right here. You guys can kind of see that. It's a little kind of jaggedy, a little like thin. So I want to just kind of strengthen those ends on her. So I'm going to continue this all the way around the head. So I went all the way around the head. I ended up uh, pulling in the front section, doing the exact same thing. The reason why I like to leave out the front section first is just to make sure that we're not um, cutting out too much or creating a hole. So I went through to the exact same technique in the front. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a kind of wide section here to cross check where, um, cross check what we've already done. So I'm just gonna take a straight across section, going up, 
basing it off of the part. So if she had a middle part, we would pull it straight up, but because she has kind of a slightly off center part, and what I'm looking for here is you should see a V, and you guys can see it's kind of V'd right there. Obviously, if we had more hair pulled up, you would be able to see more of that V, but I'm already seeing it there, so we'll do another one here and just double check here. Again, pulling it up straight from the part, you guys can see that V going on right here. And even with this one, there's a little section right here. I kind of want to cut into it just a little bit more, create a little bit more of that V. And all the way up to the front section, perfect. You guys can see that V going on there. Cool, so now what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna blow dry her and then I'm going to do some face framing layers and we'll do all of that once we dry it. All right, so we just finished blow drying her hair. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go through and kind of do some deep point cutting. So I'm gonna take a section and what I'm gonna do is I like to hold it all the way straight up and then I'll come down. So I'll hold it up kind of where we had cut it before. And then I'm gonna come down here to where a level that's easier for me to get into. And I'm gonna kind of do some deep point cutting here. You guys can see. Sometimes just kind of even spreading it out with my fingers. And now you guys can see it's a lot more of like a jagged line versus like a straight across line. Now I'm gonna do this all throughout her haircut, kind of taking just horizontal sections. And I'm only gonna do it on spots that feel really thick. So like even down here, that doesn't feel too thick for me. So I'm just gonna barely kind of point cut into it. So we'll just keep doing this around the head. pieces you guys can see she's got a little bit in there but I want to bring it up just a little bit more so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take our section here and we're gonna just comb this down I'm gonna find kind of where I want my length to sit and I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna just start slide cutting all the way down and we'll take that whole section just double check make sure we got it all I always like to kind of come up with my finger all the way through there to make sure that I didn't leave out any of these pieces especially on clients that have glasses or whatever. I just want to make sure that we got all of those little hairs. I'm going to take it and make sure that we slide cut all the way down and make sure that it's all the way connected all the way through. And one thing that she just mentioned to me was she was saying that she actually likes to see little pieces kind of coming out when she wears her hair up into a ponytail. So what I'm going to do for those clients that want to see a little bit of something kind of hanging out of their ponytail, I actually take this section, clip it away, and we're going to take pieces, not so much from here, but from kind of this little area right here. And again, I'm combing out to make sure we got all the little hairs out of here. You can have your clients take their glasses off or you can, it's fine if you make sure that you get all the little hairs. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little slide cutting just in here, just to give her some little pieces that can kind of fall out when she's wearing her hair in a ponytail. So those are kind of fun. All right, and here is our final look for our haircut. You guys can see we've just got a lot more movement in here. I did end up curling it with a inch and a quarter curling iron just to get some bend in it. But you guys, I just love this lived in texture. I think that it really fits her hair shape and her style and it actually makes her hair look a little bit longer and fuller. So hope that you guys try out that haircut. It's a great go-to and it's actually one I use all the time. All right, guys, I hope that video was helpful for you. And again, if this video was helpful, come on over to Instagram, send me a DM, let me know. I love hearing from you guys, and I personally respond to every single DM that comes through. So please hit me up in my DMs. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure to do it now. I do tons of videos like this. I'm doing a lot more cutting videos. So if you wanna see more cutting videos, let me know in the comments because I wanna make sure that I'm creating videos and techniques that you wanna see. So hit me up in the comments below and let me know. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you guys next time.